Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrick Fox, and recently Rebecca Sugar has finally answered one of the biggest mysteries about Steve Universe the movie. Well, three big mysteries. How did Spinel get her new form? Where did she get the rejuvenator and injector? And how fast was she able to get to Earth? These mysteries were answered during her Barnes & Noble signings for her Steve Universe Tale of Steven. One happening in New York, and one happening in LA. I'm aware there's at least one other location, but I don't believe it's occurred yet, or none of the interesting information has arisen from it yet. But at least for how Spinel poofed, it was something we actually predicted right here on this channel. Anyone who was preaching gems can just permanently change their form without poofing, I got some bad news for you. No! It's not how it works. Shouldn't use a diamond as a prime example. But let's run through these answers and take a look at how Spinel wasn't the only gem to poof in the way she did. Uh, spoiler warning, I guess, if you haven't seen Seamer's movie or you just want to have things stay a mystery, I don't know. Let's dive in. Starting with how and where Spinel got her hands on an injector and rejuvenator, Sugar explained that this was something that was actually shown in the film, but with how the movie was already 10 minutes longer than it was supposed to be, they had to take it out. But let's roll the clip. So how did Spinel get her injector and rejuvenator? That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Um, we actually used to have this in the movie, but as we boiled it down, uh, we, the movie itself is actually 10 minutes longer than it was supposed to be, and this was one of the things that we, just a piece of explanation we didn't have time for. But uh, Spinel was Pink Diamond's best friend. She had a lot of access to all of her stuff and all of her places, and also to a war pad that could take her instantly to anywhere she wanted to go. Uh, so, yes, she was able to get that stuff very quickly and then take it to Earth also very quickly. Nice. Uh, her proximity to Pink Diamond is the answer. So there you have it. As a lot of people assumed, Spinel's connection to Pink Diamond provided her with the knowledge and whereabouts to get her hand on an injector and a rejuvenator. Something as simple as that. And with Homeworld's technology such as war pads, Spinel was able to quickly traverse across the galaxy, snag up the tech, and make her way towards Earth relatively quick. She actually elaborated on the method of transportation at the previous signing. Let's take a look at that. at Steven's house. Not very long at all. Um, got there really fast. I would like to uh, mention that they have technology that will take you from one place, one planet to another instantaneously, so that definitely helped. Uh, so, and she definitely warped. I mean, she, the only reason she hadn't gotten on that warp and gone somewhere instantly is because she uh, hadn't realized that she should should just go somewhere else. Uh, so so once, she, once she realized that she had really absolutely no good reason to be staying there, she immediately left. So yeah, easy peasy. Once Spinel realized she no longer had a reason to wait in the garden, she got her hustle on and set the events of Steven Earth the movie in motion. So yes, although Spinel did not encounter a brewing rebellion as I theorized, something I did theorize that came to fruition was how Spinel pooped. If you guys checked out my video from a few weeks back, I speculated that Spinel essentially experienced a gem heart attack. That she was so sad and overwhelmed with grief that her physical form, as it's properly referred to as on Homeworld, dissipated. And, well, Sugar confirmed that <laughs> what happened. Roll the clip. <laughs> um, this, is the, this is the heavy one, uh, which is uh, what caused Spinel to reform and was she pooped, oh, well, was she pooped by the person who gave her the injector? Uh, no, no, she wasn't pooped by anyone. Um, this is, this is open to interpretation. She, she did poof and she did reform. Uh, personally on the team, sometimes we'll talk about uh, how if a gem feels extremely enough, they can actually poof from the extremity of their feelings. We mentioned it once when Eyeball says that she's so excited to meet Jasper that she almost dissipates her form. Um, you know, you can die of excitement, basically, <laughs> if you're a gem, um, which is what the, they don't they don't say poofing on Homeworld, they, they say dissipating your form. So that's what that was a reference to. So it is possible that Spinel felt extremely enough. So when it seems that a gem experience high emotion, they can quite literally die of that emotion, albeit reform shortly after. Sugar also elaborated that this wasn't something they just pulled out of thin air. This isn't anything new. As she cites the episode Back to the Moon, where Eyeball exclaims to Amethyst masquerading as Jasper that she nearly dissipated her form out of excitement. So it seems like if you're overly happy, you can poof. If you're overly angry, you could probably poof, so watch out, Jasper. And if you're extremely sad, we've seen the before and after with Spinel. But what if it doesn't stop at Spinel? You see, an issue someone can have with this revelation that I completely understand is that Spinel's grief has suddenly turned into a competition. What are your thoughts 
as you are developing Pink's character more in the movie, did you plan on having fans upset towards her actions regarding Spinal? Well, of course. <laughs> um, I, the thing is, that this is something that we all uh, on the staff know that know about Pink. Um, she's done this before. She did something very similar to Bismuth. Uh, this is a thing that she does. So um, I'm, I am very glad that people have a more full understanding of her and can look at things that she's done through that lens because it, it, uh, it's very tracked. Oh, Spinell was so sad she pooped. Sorry, Amethyst, Garnet, Pearl, Lapis, the Diamonds, etc. Your grief doesn't mean anything compared to Spinel, because unlike all of you guys, she actually poofed. But what if I told you we have evidence that the Crystal Gems actually did poop from grief before? As Reddit user Rayleigh broke down, no wait, my bad, that's Ray, why? I, I'm horrible at pronouncing things. When we get a glimpse of the past gems and story for Steven and we need to talk, their forms differ from how they appear in three gems and a baby, and overall, a majority of the first season. But oddly enough, during a single pearl rose, the form sobbing Pearl dons when Steven encounters her is different from the form she dons when placing her hand on Rose's pregnant stomach, which we get a brief glimpse of as Steven leaves Pearl's gem. In fact, as we see Amethyst and Garnet comforting Pearl, all of their forms have changed. But how do they go from point A to point B so quickly? Again, these are two separate looks between Pearl trying to figure out what she's going to do when Rose disappears versus when Rose is very close to giving birth to Steven. Yeah, we could chalk it up to a corrupted gem mission and maybe the gems got poofed, but after all the additional context we have now, I'm convinced Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl did feel a pain different but as strong as Spinel's, experiencing emotions so extreme that they poofed as well, leading to their forms in the beginning of the series, which is something I personally view as very powerful. As the Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl Steven knew for most of his life, didn't take on their specific appearances just because they got poofed in battle, but because they're coming off of the heels of losing Rose Quartz, of losing someone they valued and loved and looked up to. Each big regeneration the Crystal Gems take on is representative of a big moment of their lives. For example, Garnet's reformation in Jailbreak is representative of Ruby and Sapphire being closer than ever, Garnet's hue shifting to a brighter blend of red and blue. Whereas before, her color scheme typically dominated in the red. It shows that Steven has had a direct positive impact on Ruby and Sapphire. Or how by the end of Change Your Mind, every form of the Crystal Gems, and counting Bismuths in the movie, shows how much they've grown on Earth. Each preformation being as human as possible, while also representing the gems themselves, what they like and enjoy. So now, looking at these first preformations, the ones we got acquainted with at the beginning of the series, they could now represent the death of Rose Quartz, the beginning of a brand new era. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? How do you feel about self-poofing? Are you satisfied or disappointed with how Spinel not only got her new form, but the Injector and Rejuvenator? Do you wish it was left up to to the imagination? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RoundTableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Vox. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to Janky Bones for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of their amazing art, you can find them on Tumblr at Janky Bones, Twitter and Instagram at Bone Janky, and subscribe to their YouTube channel. Link in the description. Help earn to grow by the becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Osric Vox, signing out.